Muhammad he have all those women? You will find the answer for that when you read the story of Muhammad. While the wives of Muhammad they came to complain, they sent even his daughter to Muhammad, and they say, read carefully. This is Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih al Nusa'i, Sahih any all the Sahih books, and this is Sahih Hadith. So the Muslim cannot say. This one is Sunan and Nusai. This is Sahih. We can show it from Muslim, etc. The wives of the Prophet they sent Zainab went to Jahsh. This is another ethical problem in Islam. Muhammad he went. We will talk about it maybe later in a different video because this video will go forever. We're going to talk about the false ethic of Muhammad. So Zainab went to Jahsh was the wife of the adopted son of Muhammad, but because he became, as he claimed, in, in love with her, <laughs> in love with married women, she is married to his own son. Imagine. And then he made a verse in the Quran saying, Allah told him, why you hide what Allah he told you about what is in your heart for this woman? But the woman, she is married. And he went to her house and he said to her, and this is all the stories we are reading for you is written in by Muslims' hands. And the Muslims, they praise those stories about how amazing the Prophet is. So he went to the wife of a married man who is his son by adoption. And he stood in the middle of the room. He says to her, Subhanallah, praise be to Allah, the one who flipped my heart for you. How dare you? And then Allah, he made a verse for him saying, take her. So now the wives, they knew that this guy, he, this is his new favorite wife. Aisha was always the favorite wife, right? So now they thought maybe this wife will will make him they will persuade him to change the injustice because always he treat Aisha as we said uh, she, she is his favorite dish. So they asked the new wife, who because obviously he is desperate to have sex with her, maybe she can convince him because this is the only competition we have now between uh, uh, with Aisha. So they asked her to go and speak to Muhammad, and look what she asked him for. She was one was somehow somewhat equal to me in the rank Aisha saying that somehow she is equal to me in the rank Muhammad he have ranks for his wives Muhammad he have a drill sergeant if you serve in the USA army you will know what the drill sergeant Muhammad he have a captain wife Muhammad he have a general wife they have ranks Yet the Muslim, they say the Quran says you have to treat them equally. And then in the eyes of the Messenger of Allah. And I have never seen a woman who is better in religious. Uh, so even Aisha, she is saying she's a great woman. And then look what happened. The women, she came to him and she asked Muhammad to treat, uh, to treat the other wives. The same way you treat Aisha. Treat them equally. We are asking for justice. Read carefully. This is not my words. She said, she entered and she said, O Messenger of Allah, your wife have sent me to ask you to be equitable with regard to the matter of the daughter of Abu Quhafa. This is another name for Abu Bakr, which is the father of Aisha. Then she says, she verbally abused me. So Zainab, she insulted Aisha. At length, and I was watching the messenger of Allah to see if he would Allow me to respond. Look at this. Zainab went to Jahsh until I realized that the message of Allah would not disapprove it. Look at this. So Muhammad now enjoying two women fighting over him. And actually, they are not fighting over him, they are fighting over gifts. Muhammad is a is a gang member who all all the bribe they come to him when he is in the house of Aisha. Why? Because if Aisha she heard that somebody send a gift to the Muhammad when he is in the house of another wife, that's mean this wife, she will keep the gift. She will speak to Muhammad to disapprove his request. So everybody starts sending only because they knew that Muhammad is the one who favored Aisha. 
So they send it only in the house of Aisha. So Aisha, she will approve the request by taking the gift. So now Muhammad, he is watching Aisha and Zainab insulting each other, screaming at each other until Aisha, she insulted enough. So if I respond, then I spoke back to her such a way in such a way until I silenced her. And then the messenger of Allah said, Ha, huh, she is the daughter of a bakr. <laughs> look at look at the evil man. Instead of saying, stop it, no need to fight. No, he is enjoying the Shah. And what is the request? They are all what they are asking for. Can we have equal treatment like Aisha? In different hadith, Muhammad is saying, no, you cannot. You cannot. She said, your wife have sent me to ask you. This is now the daughter of Muhammad Fatima. They sent even his daughter. They sent everybody, ask him for justice. She said, your wife have sent me to ask you for justice regarding the daughter of Abu Quhafa. I.e. Aisha, she said, he said, daughter, do you love what I love? She said, uh, yeah. She said, then love this woman. He just told them he, this is his favorite dish. If Muhammad, he love Aisha, then why he is marrying as many as he wish? Here we go. You have a love. And if you love a woman, that's an excuse. Do not to be justice with the other wives. So Muhammad in the in the public, he says, be justice with your wife. And then when he go to his house, Muhammad far away from any kind of justice. How that can be from God. How that can be ethical. So now if I'm a, if I'm a married Muslim man, uh, if I can call it marriage, because this is just a sex, sexual contract, it's not marriage. The woman in Islam, she is a sexually employed, not a wife. This is why it's so easy to divorce her. And then anytime the, the employer can fire you, you are fired, you are fired, you are fired. That's it. Gone. You are temporarily employed. Not like in the Bible, the man and the women they will become one not like in the Bible where the Bible speak about love we cannot find such a thing in the Quran where in the Quran it says the man he should love his wife because there's no wife in the Quran there's employment if we go in the Bible we will find something very beautiful very amazing about love and sacrifice Ephesians 4 I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace, according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended upon high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. The Bible is full of verses speaking about how the man and how the women, how the Lord himself described that the man should love his wife, the same as the Lord the Christ, he loved the church. Which means the Bible he made the women equal to the church. The church with the Messiah gave his life for. Where is the love? Beat your wife. Have as many. What about muta? Which is very disgusting. Where is the ethical in that? When Muhammad he said, any man, any woman, 
they like to enjoy sexual activities and here the Muslim by the way they say to you marriage the, the hadith doesn't say anything about marriage here we go this is the hate in Arabic I change any Muslim to get me busted it says ayyuma rajulin wa imra'a توافقا فعشرة ما بينهما ثلاث ليال فإن أحبا أن يتزايدا أو يتتركا يتتركا Where is marriage? Any man and a woman they like to have sexual relationship they have to have to share a bed together there's no marriage so if any man and a woman and here they add things which is Unbelievable. Look, they put between two brackets to marry temporarily. Have you ever heard of any cult coming with such an ethical teaching? Is that really a marriage? How we can call this as a marriage? A prophet of God teaching his followers, his decent followers, you can, according to the translation, marry temporarily. For what? Just for sex. And this is godly teaching and by the way this is the Quran chapter 4 verse 24 where the Quran says you have to pay their wages for those who enjoy it enjoy what enjoy their private part and here there's no the word marriage does not appear not even a second in the statement as we see in the front of us in the translation so three days three night if you like if you like maybe less you know maybe maybe one night maybe one hour and if they like to continue, then they can do so. And if they like to separate, they can do so. This is ethic. So God, he created men and women. So we can just have an agreement for uh, one night, two night. And this is supposedly not adultery. And this is not a prostitution. By the way, she have to get paid. Otherwise, this is not allowed. The women, she have to get paid, which is officially prostitution. There's a few conditions for this relationship. Number one, the man he offered the women to sleep with him for a certain amount, certain time. And then if she agree with the certain amount and certain time, then the contract is valid. So the agreement is very simple. The man he go, let us say you are going in the elevator. You see a woman, you say, how much you charge me? To stay with me for two hours she say for two hours exactly uh, ten dollars if the man and the women agree in the terms and conditions then they are according to Islam lawfully can go to the bedroom and have sex and that is not against the teaching of Allah and when the two hours is gone there's no divorce there's no divorce in this kind of relationship because they are not married it's a, just a prostitution. So divorce does not exist. When the two hours is over, the alarm, you can set your alarm. Use, you can use your Google, by the way, if you are in case practicing this. But Google say, okay, Google, set alarm after 60 minutes. So when the 60 minutes started, from the time the women and the men take off their clothes, go to the bed. After 60 minutes, you do not need to divorce her because she never was your wife. And if the man he died during this uh, sexual uh, relationship, the woman, she cannot inherit anything because she is not his wife. Because there's nothing. It's just a prostitution. And yet they say to us that Islam came to solve problems and Islam came to ethic, as we see in this article. You know, a lot of ethic, I can see it. To teach us to distinguish between moral and immoral. Ethic and ethic unethical good and evil <laughs> what a hilarious ethical we are talking about I'm not going to stay longer this video I think is enough to cover this topic and tomorrow we will I hope tomorrow will come back again with a new topic and as you see the number of viewers drop dramatically because we don't have a chat and this is what exactly I want. I don't want people who they are coming here for chat to be with us. Let them go. They are just troublemakers. They are not real. They are not serious. They are just here for fun, chit chat. I am not your coffee shop. And I am not here to entertain you. Go watch TV. 
Here we share education. And we try to help people with the understanding. So nobody can be deceived. Our purpose is bigger than uh, spending some time saying hi, hello to your friends.